so I think it's more of a foreigner thing. I don't even know if that's an appropriate word, but a non-American mentality to value the emotional state of yourself and your children. I think it's more of a value uh, for those who are born in America. I'm experiencing where those that are born outside of the United States, they come and have children and are forced to uh, adhere to their children having, expressing and commanding an attention to their emotions. Now, the problem with that, the disconnect, which is not generational, it's because there are parents, there are men and women who have been forced through the constraints of their um, home country, been forced to go throughout life without having any kind of emotional acknowledgement, just to uh, acknowledge where you are emotionally, uh, bring a term to that so you can identify, differentiate, and grow and develop and be empowered through the awareness of where you are emotionally in this moment, in this experience, in this hardship, in this common thing, in this rare experience. Um, to be deprived of that, um, you are being forced to endure, to be um, ignorant of where you are and be ignorant of what you can and cannot contribute um, because you are not fully aware of who you are and how you can be fully aware. The difference between uh, foreigner, those that are American born and those not born in America is that um, this, the American culture welcomes an emotional intelligence and, and it requ and requires you to be fully present. And without that knowledge, you are um, intermingling and thinking that you are adapting, thinking that you are acclimizing yourself when you are very new to who you are as a person, let alone who you choose to present and how you choose to present yourself emotionally.